today I am here just to give you an activity which you can do during this lockdown period. The purpose of the activity is to find the center of gravity of an irregular lamina. You know, center of gravity of a body is the point through which weight of the body acts. If a body is pivoted vertically below the center of gravity, the body gets balanced. Center of gravity of this rod is somewhere inside the rod just above my finger. Well, if I ask you to find the position of center of gravity of a rectangular lamina, you will say that center of gravity is the point where the diagonals meet. So, this rectangular lamina can be balanced like this. If I ask you to find the position of center of gravity of a circular lamina, you will say that geometric center of the circular lamina is the position of center of gravity. And you know that Position of central gravity of a triangular lamina is the centroid of the triangle, the point of intersection of medians. So triangular lamina and in the examination, if you draw like this, you may lose the mark. Not because, not showing the third line, but because you are not showing this as the median. Well, let us go for our work to find the position of center of gravity of uh, an irregular lamina. For that, you take uh, a thick paper like this and we will make uh, a shapeless tree. Okay, now we have to suspend it on a pin. If pin is not available, you can use your geometric compass. Here it is. And make a hole near the edge of the lamina. Yes. And make it free. Okay. Very good. And this point is called point of suspension. I am planning to give a name for the point of suspension. Let me say that is A. A is point of suspension. Now what I mean is a plumb line. So plumb line may not be available right now. So we will make it with the help of a lock. Yes, I have got a lock with me. A small lock. And you take a thread, tie the lock, and now make well done. So, well, again. Nobody is there to help you. No problem, you can do it yourself. Suspend it. Let it oscillate freely. Okay, very good. And now you will use this plumb line you made. Okay. And central gravity of the lamina is somewhere on this vertical line. So to draw the line, you will mark one more point. See, very successfully you have to do that patiently. Okay. Yes, I got the point. I am marking that 
Kowoyen as B. Now I will join point of suspension and the point I want. Yes, center of gravity of the lamina is uh, somewhere on the line A. So to find the position of center of gravity, now what we have to do? I have to suspend this from another point. I'm making another hole here. Okay. Yes. Again, plumb line. Suspending it from here. I have to mark the point. Here, this point of suspension, I am giving the name P. And I will mark the point. Yes, I got the point. This point is a Q. I will join point of suspension and Q. intersection of these lines this will be the center of gravity this is the center of gravity if you want to confirm that I can go for one more point of suspension yes here it is Well, you can see that, you can see that this vertical line passes through the same point. Not bad. You can uh, cut the string if you want, okay. Well, and uh, mark this. Yes, this point of suspension I am giving the name M and here the point is N. When I join, it is confirmed. It will pass through the same point here, C. So here this is the center of gravity. I have represented it by the letter G and at that point lamina is balanced. Well, I am giving you one homework. If you take a lamina in the shape of our country, India, where will be the position of central gravity? You can try it at home. You have to suspend it from one point and uh, make the vertical line and go for another point of suspension. Again, make the vertical line. The point of intersection of lines will be giving you the position of a central gravity and find it and let me know where, in which city, central gravity lies.